As some of you already know, this is the current state of our new home. It is clearly under construction and not livable, and that's why we're living here. This is kind of a short-term rental setup. It's actually very close to our construction, so we can monitor things as that progress continues. Unfortunately, we don't get fiber in this area, and the ISPs that do operate here don't really have great routers to choose from either. And that's where the Ray RGE6 comes into play. This is a Wi-Fi 6 dual-band gaming router. We partnered with Ray to not only highlight its features, but also overhaul my current setup and give away several of these at the end of the video. So it's worth sticking around. Stay with me. If you're sick of seeing that same Activate Windows watermark over and over, head on over to VIP SCD Key, where they have Windows 10 and 11 Pro OEM keys at a fraction of the price of retail. Just use a secure payment method like PayPal, enter your product key into your PC settings window, and say goodbye to the watermark. And be sure to use your offer code SKGS for that so sweet discount. Now I'll admit, until recently, the name Ray didn't ring a bell when it came to gaming routers. In fact, Ray recently made their debut in US markets, but the company has over 20 years of solid experience in the networking field. And independent reviews on sites like Amazon appear to tout the RGE6 as not only an affordable gaming router, but also a high performing one. So you see, we had to know what all the fuss was about. So again, we're talking Wi-Fi 6, this is AX6000, so dual band is gonna be 2.4 gig and 5 gig. You'll have to bear with me because uh, this clearly isn't my strong suit. It does have a two gigahertz quad core 64 bit processor, a 2.5 gig WAN port. Ah, there she is. And up to 512 devices connected at the same time, which uh, it sounds like a lot, but the numbers can quickly add up, especially if you're running this in like an office setting or something, which you definitely could do. I also wanna just try this on for size. Yep eight separate antennae here. This thing looks pretty ominous. Now we already mentioned the 2.5 gig WAN port. That's this yellow one here, DC to the right of that and a reset switch. And then we have four ports to the left. Now this is where it gets interesting because there actually is a dedicated gaming port here. If you wanna prioritize traffic through this one port, just connect your gaming PC or even your console to this far left one. And then if anyone else tries to screw with your connection, you know you're gonna be safe and sound because you've connected to the far left. I think this is a really cool addition. Gamers especially know exactly what it it feels like to have super laggy connections. Uh, this is just a peace of mind, if you will. In fact, the RG6 will do even more than that. When it comes to your wireless gaming experience, it'll prioritize gaming traffic. You don't even have to do anything. It just does it by default. You can turn it off, but it is nice to know that that feature is also baked in. And no, you don't have to use this only for gaming. Again, I wanna stress that this can be used in a wide variety of applications. Most of us aren't gaming 24 seven. Right. And if you live in an especially large house, maybe work in a big office space or something, and you want optimal coverage, you can easily mesh multiple Ray routers together with a single click. Now I ask that you brace yourselves. What you're about to see is the workings of a networking nub. This here is my humble networking setup. Uh, she ain't much, but she's mine. So we have my ISP's modem. It does not have a built-in router. That connects to our Google router here, which is fine for what it is, but it's obviously nothing hardcore, nothing over the top. It's pretty basic in what it does. And then that is connected to a switch behind these components. And that switch runs to this NAS, which I still use to this day, and my personal gaming and editing PC in my office. Now by switching to the Ray RGE6, we can downsize this setup a bit. We can get rid of the redundant and inferior Google router. And we can also get rid of my network switch. This switch actually has PoE capabilities as well, but I don't need it for this rental. It's a bit overkill for that. Uh, and we do have multiple ports at the back of this router including LAN aggregation, which I'll admit I had to Google before filming this scene, but it is nice to be able to consolidate a bit. Now only about five or six feet away from the current Google router in the exact same room, so nothing interfering. You can see we're getting about half a gig down, a little more than that. And this is actually higher than my rated speed, so a Spectrum's hooking me up a bit there. But you'll notice that our uploads as a consequence of Copper aren't that great. Nonetheless, this is a pretty good starting point. Now we're gonna move to the very, very furthest location in our house from the current router, and we're gonna see how those speeds degrade. This is the far corner of our kitchen, and let's go ahead and try again. We are going through a couple of walls now, but it's nothing extreme. This house is a, uh, it's a two-story, so things are kind of just one on top of the other. You can see our speeds are significantly lower here, about 80, 85 megabits per second. 
It's not terrible, but you saw what we were getting before. So this is almost an 80% drop in performance by just moving about 40 feet in one direction. I, uh, I think Ray can do better than this. And thankfully for a nub like me, setting up the RGE6 is extremely straightforward. You know, when you're competing with the likes of Google and others that are trying to streamline the setup processes in a lot of their products, it's important that uh, competitors like Ray and others make their processes smooth as well. And uh, well, two pages is all it takes. Just just these two here, and it's like five steps. So let's give it a shot. First, we're gonna connect the Ray unit to power with the included adapter. Then we connect our modem to our WAN port. Then we can download the Ray app, or if you'd like, you can set it up online. We're gonna click Create Network. We'll run through just a few steps. And after only a few seconds, you should be on the splash page. You can assign your uh, Wi-Fi names and your passwords. You can set up a separate gaming Wi-Fi if you'd like. I've got auto bandwidth control enabled for intelligent traffic control, and uh, yeah, I think we're ready to test again. Just like before, first time we're about six feet from the router in the same room, nothing impeding the uh, signal. And let's see what we get. Should be, yep, still over 500 megabits per second. That's a good sign. So uh, no immediate concerns at all. Not that we should expect them. And I'm also expecting the same uh, pretty crappy uploads, which is the fault of my ISP, not the router. The true test will be out here in the kitchen once more. Let's see what our speeds are now. Remember before we weren't even breaking 100 megabits per second. So it would be, oh wow, wow. <laughs> it's almost like we didn't even change rooms. That is a massive, massive improvement there. Golly, we just quadrupled our bandwidth in the kitchen. Not that we really need it in the kitchen much, but uh, Oh, this is just, this is fantastic. Much better than our Google router. And I think that sets up an interesting value proposition because while a single Google Nest router as of time of filming costs around 70 to 80 bucks, you could spend around double that in a Ray RGE6 and get quadruple the bandwidth from a decent distance away. If you have many devices in your home that you want connected to the internet at all times, including TVs, smartphones, uh, smart appliances, who knows what's coming next, and you want that optimal coverage, you want that optimal speed, it, you're not gonna be able to pull it off with a single Google router. You can buy a triple pack, they do sell those, um, but uh, again, you're getting three that are really doing the job that one can do in another unit. It's just less maintenance, it's easier to set up. I say go with the RG6. You know, I'll be honest, I wasn't sure what to expect filming that kitchen scene a couple clips ago. Uh, for all I know, these routers could have performed identically and uh, I would have had to have framed this video some other way. The reality is the Ray router is definitely the superior router when it comes to bandwidth at scale over a larger distance. Dual band definitely helps, but the fact that we've got these beefy antennas, the quad core processor to handle traffic and throughput, um, that all I think sets this up to be a much better product than something like this, which is obviously cheaper. It's not necessarily an apples to apples comparison, and I get that. But I don't want you to think that I'm skewing the results simply to make this product look better because Ray is the sponsor. I know for a fact that some of you are gonna go out and buy this and hold me accountable. The data that you see in this video will be scrutinized heavily, and my integrity is worth far more at this point than any check anyone could write, unless it was like $10 billion. I, <laughs> I don't know. You know, actually, I'm curious how far coverage for this RGE6 actually extends. I'm gonna step outside and see if I can get Wi-Fi at the end of my driveway. I'm sure my neighbors are wondering what on earth I'm doing out here. So you can see the house behind me. I'm a pretty good distance away now. That's about, uh, what, 50, 60 feet or so. And uh, we're gonna test connection again. We are still connected to Wi-Fi with two bars, interestingly. Let's see what our speeds look like. So, wow, still about 70, 80. We're getting better coverage out here almost with our Ray router than we were with the Google router inside the home. This is pretty good. I wonder how much further we can walk away from this. We're literally in the street now and we're still getting 100 megabits per second. Sorry about the glare, I know it's really rough outside here, but uh, this is insane. I am shocked that the coverage is this good. I could give my neighbors Wi-Fi at this point. And to be clear, our driveway is pretty massive, so uh, yeah. That's a win. Clearly then, Ray, you've built an absolute unit in the RGE6, and there's still so much more we haven't touched on. So much more, frankly, that is over my head. I'm not, again, a networking guy. There's a lot of this stuff that uh, I, I just, I don't feel comfortable talking about because I don't fully understand how it all works. But for a guy like me, and maybe a guy like yourself, or a gal like yourself, if you don't really care much about the technical stuff and you just want a plug and play device that has excellent bandwidth at literally any distance, like <laughs> I can't think 
think of, unless you live in like a, a freaking mansion, I, I can't really imagine a scenario where just one of these isn't gonna provide you decent enough coverage. Um, in an office setting, maybe you'll need a few of them. Thankfully, again, it's very easy to mesh multiple of these together. Uh, but if you just like the plug and play experience, Ray offers that here. That's the beauty of it. I think it, you can get so technical and so detailed with setup to prioritize, again, gaming traffic, different traffic. You can uh, set up VPNs through this thing. And there's so much at your fingertips, but if you don't really care about much of that or you, you aren't really too network savvy like myself, then you can just literally turn the thing on, spend 30 seconds connecting it to the app, and then there you go. You've got excellent Wi-Fi coverage. It's peace of mind no matter how you slice it. Now, if you wanna learn more about the RGE6 specifically, again, those things that I missed that I didn't touch on because they're just super technical, we will have the product linked in the video description so you can find out more details there. Also, where to buy. Uh, there are, of course, other AX6000 routers, dual band routers that have eight, 10, 12, and 10A or more, but a lot of them cost a lot more than this Ray model does. And I think that's one of the competitive advantages the RGE6 brings to the table. It has the performance to back up a higher price tag than it currently has, and that is a unique proposition for those who are shopping for a beefy gaming router, something that you could use in an office setting. Heck, just one of these will cover an enormous house. I don't even know. I mean, if you're living in a mansion, maybe you need two. And even then, it's very easy to mesh multiple of these together. Just literally click one button. But uh, one of these covered my entire property, like not just the house, but also the land around my house up to the road. Um, and then some, really, if I wanted to go further, I bet I could. So this thing is just a powerhouse. It's an absolute unit, and you should definitely consider it for your next networking solution. Thank you all so much for watching this video and a big thanks to Ray for sponsoring it. Hopefully, at the very least, this puts Ray's name on the map. This puts them on your radar if you're shopping in the future. Give them a look. I think for the price, you will be impressed. If you enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Check out relevant links in the video description again, as well as where to buy this, and stay tuned for the next one. My name is Greg. Thanks for learning with me. Hey there, you stuck around to the very end of the video. You probably thought I forgot, but I didn't. I'm going to give away five of these Ray RGE6s. Now, spoiler, the uh, brand doesn't actually know I'm doing this. I told Ray nothing about a giveaway. So um, we're doing this on our own and more or less because I have actually been genuinely impressed with this router. I've used it for now going on about three or four days without issue, great coverage like we talked about in the video. And uh, I believe in it so much that I wanna give five of them away. So it doesn't matter where you live. As long as I can ship you one of these, I'm gonna ship them direct from Amazon. But if you wanna enter to uh, to win, just click in the link in the video description. You'll see a giveaway link somewhere down there. Uh, and uh, we won't have anything convoluted that you need to do. You should just you know send your email, submit that, because we need to respond via email if you win. And then uh, maybe like, follow us on Twitter or something. And also subscribe, subscribe to YouTube. That would be really cool. Subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll have more of these coming up very soon. Thank you so much again for the support and thanks for learning with me.